Hi, Bob Baker here, and on this video clip, I just want to tell you about two basic ways to self-publish your own book, or actually a phrase that I like to use even more is independently publish your own book that's on your own without the help of a traditional or a major book publisher. There's a lot of confusion in this area, especially if you're a first-time author or maybe you've been traditionally published and you're thinking about putting a book out on your own. There's a lot of cute confusion about which route to take and how do you handle you know, the editing and the design and then there's a lot of printing and there's a lot of different aspects to it. Um, but basically, I'm going to show you some PowerPoint slides from some workshops that I've given and break this down into the simplest form. They're basically, in my mind, two ways to publish your own book. So here we go and here are the ways. The first way is a number of different um, labels. You can call it vanity publishing. Uh, it's been called subsidy publishing. Um, there's a new type of, uh, a relatively new type of company or service called author services company route. So that's one way to independently or self-publish your own book. The other one I re refer to as the true independent publishing route. So there you go. The first one, the vanity subsidy or author services company route, or two is true independent publishing. So exactly what are these things? And I got a couple of uh, graphics here to illustrate that. So with the subsidy vanity author services route, basically the author goes to a one-stop shop. And this company will then, uh, under one roof, going through one source, perhaps one connection uh, with the company, you can hook up with editing services, with design services. They will uh, get an ISBN for you. They'll take care of the printing, um, perhaps some aspect of the distribution. And so basically you go to one place, uh, one-stop shop and they can handle all these things for you and it sounds like uh, it's a pretty attractive offer um, however there's some drawbacks and I'll come back to that in, a, in just a second the other route that you can take is what I call the true self-publishing or independent publishing route and that's where you as the author um, take control of the whole process and you actually uh, will hire a choose and hire an editor to take care of that. Um, you will seek out and choose a designer that you work with. It'll handle the interior pages and the uh and the design of the cover, which is very important. You will obtain your own block of ISBN numbers. Um, you will select a printer. Um, you have control over the distribution. So it's really, you're sort of playing, uh, performing the role of a publishing company, uh, but you don't have to go through, a lot of people think this is a big burden that you have to start a corporation and set up legal entities and all this. And I don't think it's quite necessary, especially early on. If, you're, if your company grows, sure, you want to investigate those things. But this is the true self-publishing route. And then you, uh, as a self-publisher, you also are in control and handle the, the marketing and the promotion, which really, no matter what route you take, the author is always responsible for promoting and marketing the book. So what's the difference between these two routes? Basically... The author services company, or that route, while it seems appealing, there are some drawbacks to it. Usually the price that you pay per book when you purchase your own stock, your, you know, for your own sales, whether at live events or from directly from your website or whatever, is usually higher than if you're handling the printing and going directly to a company to get the printing done. Uh, also, when you get an ISBN from them, quite often in the book system, uh, it will appear as this being published by their company instead of your own company or you, or you as the author. So basically, the, I would recommend this author services route. It all depends on what your goals are. And so if you're just wanting to put out a book of maybe family recipes or maybe a family history or some sort of a your an autobiography that's just to be read by your kids, your grandkids, your family, something for your legacy. It's not meant to build a career. It's not meant for a wide mainstream audience. Um, you know, dozens of people, maybe hundreds of people are a part of your audience and you have sort of modest goals for that. Going this route probably makes sense. There's, not, there's probably too much of a burden to take on all the finding the editors and learning, you know, all this process. So in that case, perhaps going this route would make sense for you. However, 
if you actually have ambitions of building a career as an author, um, if you want to really establish yourself, and especially if you want to make money doing this, if this is sort of a business opportunity, um, and you're doing it more from just a little sideline thing or just to say that you have a book, you definitely want to go this true self-publishing route where you are in control. You hire the editor, you hire the designer, you get the uh, block of ISBNs under your publishing company name. So you uh, really are, are operating your own entrepreneurial business. And so, again, there are a lot more details here, but just as an overview, I just wanted to give you that kind of look at the two ways that you can publish independently your own book. It's the vanity, the subsidy, the author services company route, the one-stop shop route with its limitations, or the true independent publishing route where you sort of act as a business person as well as an author and get your book in, out into the world. So I hope this little brief look at the two options that you have makes sense. I hope it helps give you some clarity. Uh, and if you'd like more information, I encourage you to visit my website at fulltimeauthor.com. And while you're there, be sure to uh, sign up and get a free copy of Self-Publishing Confidential, which I have even more tips and strategies for you uh, to be more successful as an author. So I'm Bob Baker. I wish you success. So long for now.